Welcome everybody to another week with me, Martin. I'm an Inkscape developer, developing features and fixes according to what users wish. As usual, a big shout out and a big th thank you to all of my sponsors uh, over on Patreon and LibrePay. Thank you to all of the new spon sponsors this week. Uh, this week has been pretty busy, so let's get started. The first thing to, to do is to uh, welcome a new intern um, being sponsored by Dolum LLC um, to inter to mentor an in intern who will be joining me to hopefully fix issues in Inkscape. So I'm, I'm here with James at the District Hall. He's my new in intern who will be helping with Inkscape for the next few com coming weeks. I'll be putting him to, uh, to work, hopefully mm -hmm. fixing some Inkscape bugs. How was your first day? Uh, first day, I would say it was kind of rough, actually. Yeah. Big code base. <laughs> yeah, this was my first time looking at the code base, like so. It's just a maze, like what's going on. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> there's there's a lot of Inkscape. Um, so thank you, James, for jo joining mm -hmm. me, and uh, we'll keep you informed as 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 we progress. Um, James will be um, working on some bugses, some bugs, bugses. <laughs> And uh, hopefully he'll be able to fix some of the crashes and so some of the other things that happened in Inkscape. But of course, Inkscape is a big project and he's very new to this. So it'll probably take, take him some time to uh, get up to speed. Um, but a big thank you to the sponsorship there. I did actually fix some crashes myself this week. Uh, there was one with the guides properties, which is a particularly egregious. If you double clicked on a guide, edited it, uh, it using the properties, and didn't set a label, then you are liable for Inkscape to crash. Uh, it wouldn't crash straight away. It would crash somewhere in the future, uh, but it's bad. So that has been fixed. Uh, if you are still using 1.1 and you do use guides a lot, always set a label for now. Uh, secondly, it was a pasting style. So if you, um, say for instance, had a piece of text and you copied it and you wanted to paste that text style to some other block of text, uh, it would, instead of pasting the style of the text, it would paste the style of the uh, rectangle which the text was linked to, which would cause all sorts of weirdness to happen, especially if that text uh, rectangle didn't have any style. So that's been fixed. <clears throat> but you're probably here because of the pages support. This is week seven of the multi-page support. First of all, the Pages toolbar is up and run, running. Uh, it's using the new Actions framework, which was hard to get to work, but um, talking to Tav, we've managed to get everything sorted out. Uh, it doesn't look like much yet. It doesn't have any design, but that's not the point. It's supposed to be fun functional so far. You could try out these builds if you want. Um, the link is below. Uh, secondly, the actual tool itself of being able to draw and uh, create new pa pages is there. Uh, being able to drag existing pages around is there. And also being able to drag the objects that are on those pa pages around as well. Uh, which I know wasn't a part of the minimal vi viable uh, feature, but I think it was important enough to add in that I had to, I had to do it. I also fixed some issues with the PDF exporter. Now, I know there's I know that there are existing issues because basically every all of the objects that you want to place on an, on a PDF, they have all sorts of tra translation problems about like positioning and scaling and so on. So those just need to be carefully picked through to make sure that the output that you get is correct. Uh, so far, I've managed to fix a couple of those issues this week. So uh, it's getting better. Um, but we'll just keep on pl plugging away. And if you test, do let me know. Um, I'm very interested to, to see what you uh, ex experience, especially with the new user interface. Um, that's pretty much everything this week. Um, I'm trying to keep these punchier. Uh, if you have any comments, if you have any interesting things that you're doing with Inkscape, please let me know. And um, I will see you all next week. <laughs>